Hi, it's me, Raisa. Today, I'm going to show you how it is I make this gorgeous bracelet. It has been a bestseller during the Christmas time. Like, I had people begging me for this bracelet and I was out of stock. Um, I actually, the last one that I sold, I had to go dig up in my scraps for supplies just to get enough to make one for my customer. So, um, to start with these, I use, these are, these are like basic. These um, require basic beading skills. Um, it's just like running beads into this nylon coated seven, seven strand steel, seven steel strand, seven strands of steel, yes. Seven strands of steel and it's coated with nylon. So it's very unbreakable. I mean, after wear and tear, you may experience breakage, but it's very, very strong. Um, so, I started off here already using a 6mm pave bead and crystal AB, a 3mm gold fill ball, an 8mm Swarovski cream pearl, and then I start back again with a gold fill ball a uh, pave bead, gold fill ball, pull. So this is a sequence that I do until I use nine of the pearls and nine of the pave beads. So these just slip right through the string. This is basic beading like primary school basic beading um during christmas time i actually had my seven year old son help me make about i think it was about seven of these handbands he helped me make because it's it's like i was so swamped for time and um he he just loves since he was small he loves to be all up in my beads so I I gave him a commission of course. <laughs> I gave him a commission for all those those bands that he made for me. Now when I am um, putting in the six millimeter pave bead, I make sure to check that no rhinestone is missing because these are made with rhinestones basically it's polymer clay that um the supplier has made into a ball and then they, they use epoxy and they stick the rhinestones onto the clay so sometimes you may get like a rhinestone pop due to shipping and all of that so I make sure to check because a couple times I did not check and when it was time for me to package and I washed and dried and I, I was ready to package I noticed that a, a rhinestone was missing and then I had to go and undo the entire thing because I wouldn't sell a defaulted item I don't do that at all to my knowledge like if you know that that's not me so these are like you, you have to make sure you know it's good quality stuff it's good things um, it's a good bead that is going in there so this I'm almost finished with it. I'm just counting my pearls. I have six. So I have three more to go. And then we will be crimping these. I feel like if you're going to do a bead and course, this is the first technique you will learn because it's it's I remember in preschool, we, we used to have to put macaroni through a string or something like that. <laughs> so it is like you just find any hole of the, of the bead and you're just putting it in that sequence. Until you have completed it.
I have one more to put in. And then we are done. Yes. Now, I actually learned how to crimp from a YouTube video. And now I am teaching you how to crimp through YouTube. So this is called crimp tube. I'm not sure you could, I think you could see there, right? So it is like a tube. You pass it through the wire and then you put in, I'm using a closed jump ring. Oh, I made a, an error here. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I missed out this poppy bead. I put two pearls next to each other. So that's the next thing you have to check for before you crimp. Because when you crimp, that means you have to do over the entire bracelet. Because crimping means, well, basically closing off the bracelet. Okay. Yes. So I'm putting in my crimp tube and I'm using a closed jump ring. I'm slipping that in. I'm taking the end and I am bringing, back, bringing it back into the crimp tube and I'm leaving this piece there. That's a jump ring. I'm pulling this as tightly as possible and then I am crimping now there are two parts to the crimp, crimp pliers. We're using the second part first to crimp down on the tube really tightly and then we're using the first part to bend it in. So you double crimp there and now it's really tight. What I like to do I, I take my, my hand really and I pull to make sure that it is secure and that the crimp tube has locked in onto the wire. Right, so I take this part and I cut it off from my roll and I do the same thing on the other side. So. I get my crimp tube and I'm going to pass a wire through bringing it down and I am placing the spring hook the spring these are closed the spring hook it took me quite a while before I could get these available for my supplier but I finally did so this it comes the end of the wire is coming right back in through the crimp tube pulling it tightly you're bringing it downwards because you don't want any space on the band that shows the wire you're making sure that it could fit this 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 spring hook is fitting is um operationable <laughs> and um so this is a bracelet and then i'm going to crimp on this side So I'm using the second part of the crimp pliers first, pressing down, and then I'm using the first part. And then I'm taking my cutters, so I'm pulling here to make sure it's secure. And you're cutting as close as possible to the crimp tube. You're cutting off that excess piece of wire. Okay. And then there is the crimp covers, which basically when you close it in, it looks like a gold ball. That's why we don't start with a gold ball. We start with the pave bead because when we bring this at the end, it looks like a gold ball. Easy squeezy. And... Oh, for this type bracelet, what I normally do, I use an open jump ring and I attach it to the closed one. And I like to put a little charm here with a larger pave bead. So this is 
the same crystal AB but it is 8 millimeter so I'm putting because of the, the hole on these pave beads are pretty large I have to put a gold filled ball at the bottom of the pen head to make sure that it does not the beat the pave bead doesn't roll out so basically I do this I just put it in and then I cut off the excess here I take my round nose pliers I make a, an eye and then I take my red nose pliers and I attach it to this jump ring the open one that I put in that well it was open and closed it so here we have the bracelet it's completed and it's so pretty it really is it's a very classy piece a lot of persons bought this for like their mom or you know someone special yes so there we have it this is the six millimeter pave bead with eight millimeter swarovski pearl bracelet thank you for watching my video please subscribe bye